how do you balance your friendships? Because people ask that often. Mm. There, there seems to be two sides of the spectrum. I don't have any friends. Yeah. Or I am tapped out. I have so many friends. I don't yeah. really have capacity right now. Yeah. I've, I've witnessed people on both sides of the spectrum. So what does that balance look like to you? Mm. I think it's, yeah, because I've been in seasons where I've had a surplus and mm-hmm. a drought, mm-hmm. I think I've definitely experienced both. So I'm, I'm very sympathetic to both of those feelings. Yeah. Um, I would say like in the surplus, that's where like you really have to hunker down on the friendships that mean the most to you and like be okay with letting some of those other yeah. friendships that are maybe in that outer circle or like that middle circle mm-hmm. go a little bit. I think you have to kind of almost be organized with your friendships a little bit, yes, you know, it's like, it's a little bit systematic and yeah. it's a little bit like, okay, I have not talked to this friend in three weeks. I'm going to text them or call them or send them a voice memo. Yeah. So I think it's like thinking through how you can, because you want to love people well, mm-hmm. um, thinking how you can maintain those connections and maintain that, um, that's that level with someone wherever you guys are. Yeah. Um, and, and think about it almost as like you're scheduling in people mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and you have to like, it's a rhythm that you have to gain with That's someone. Yeah. And um, sometimes the rhythm can be totally thrown off, but I think the people that you end up having long-term friends with, there's kind of this like ongoing rhythm that you find, yep. even if it's like if you live across this, you know, the country and it's one phone call mm-hmm. a month or mm-hmm. every two months, like that alone is is enough to keep something yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And I love the one sentence you said, you want to love people well. That's the thing here. If you don't feel burdened or bogged down by this, you... Well, so, <laughs> sometimes. I, of yeah. course. Yeah. And that's when you know, okay, who who and how am I going to prioritize this diet? That's yeah. like a lead indicator to you of like, okay, I, I got to think through this. Yeah. And so I want to give how... Uh, an example of how this can look because Mm. your heart is to have a lot of quality relationships Mm. and you want to love people well. So those are both truths. Right. Right. And I have had conversations, a couple conversations lately Mm. where um, the friends have come to me and they're like, Hey, I miss you. We are not hanging out at the frequency we used to. And I want to know, and like, for instance, I want to know if we can hang out every three weeks. Mm. And I actually had to have a hard conversation mm. and say, to be honest, I would love to, yeah. but I do not have the capacity. What I right. can commit to is a six week frequency yeah. or a see you every month kind of frequency. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with getting that granular because if neither of us voiced our expectations, right. we both would have just been frustrated and like, I cannot believe she just hates me. She's replaced <laughs> me, you know, right, when none right. of that was true, yeah. but thankfully two adults chose to act as adults right. to come to the table with like, yeah. hey, here's what I'm hoping for. What can I expect? What can we work together on to make yeah. sure that we both keep this connection together? Yeah, that's so good. I, I was reminded of my friendship with um, with Anna. I think you met her yeah. when you were in Texas. Yeah. Um, I, I did something very similar. We had... We have been close for so many years and um, she was going through a, a season of engagement and mm-hmm. I called her and I was like, and I really miss you. Like we don't talk anymore. And yeah. she has been such a rock in my life. And, um, and we work through a system, you know, and it's like, it sounds, um, sometimes it can feel, um, yes. What's the word I'm looking for? Like they're, they're a product or a service and yeah. not a friend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It can feel a little bit forced yeah. or like um, unnatural at yeah. first. But I think it's sometimes necessary for adult relationships because we're not in proximity anymore with all of our friends. Yep. We have so much on our plate that like sometimes you have to work through some of the like it feeling a little bit mechanical. Yeah. Then to, then to go back into like the natural feeling of of connection with them. And so, um, very well said. Yeah. I've, I've experienced that several times, especially if you are someone who, who's moved around a lot, it yeah. does feel like, you know, that like, yeah. Oh, like I just want this to feel really natural and just like perfectly fall into place. Exactly. And it, it, it doesn't when you're at this age and yeah. you have to work through scheduling and just different States and all totally. of that. And it may eventually, but it won't 
start like that. Right. For right. sure. And that's just what you need to know up front. 